Welcome back. All right, now, where were we? Now, the bulk of the control panel is this response graph. The x-axis represents the ambient level. The y-axis represents how much gain is applied to the program material. You can see that as the background noise rises, more gain is applied to the program material, and that it plateaus at a predetermined maximum gain and a minimum gain, which you can adjust right over here in the gain calculations. The detector panel has some more adjustments. The program threshold lets you adjust when the program material is considered active. So if I were to raise this threshold to way above what our program material plays at, even when the program material is playing, it's not going to be able to detect it. So you have to make sure that your program threshold is set beneath whatever your program material is going to be playing at. The sense delay adjusts the amount of time after the program material is inactive that the detector starts listening to the ambient noise again. If you set this to about three seconds, that way you'll see that when we mute our program material, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, sensing 1,000. That's how long it takes for the detector to listen to the ambient noise again. Then the detector time adjusts how long it takes to apply gain to the program material, and obviously the sensing LED showed us whether or not the detector was active. The gain calculation panel, this adjusts how much gain is applied to your program material. The ambient threshold adjusts how much background noise is needed before you want gain added to the program material. Right now it's set to negative 30 dB. You can see on our graph that negative 30 dB is when it changes from your minimum gain to when you're starting to apply gain. So if we were to lower that, you'll notice that it adjusts the graph. If we adjust it lower than our background noise, you can see the gain is already being added to our program material. The ratio adjusts the slope of the graph. So a high ratio like this will apply more gain relative to a small increase in ambient noise, and a low ratio will apply a small amount of gain relative to a large increase in ambient noise. Now this is also where you set your minimum and maximum gain. And there are also these time constants. The attack time is how quickly gain is added, and the release time is how quickly gain is removed. Finally, over here on the right, the gain meter displays the total gain of the program level, and the out gain lets you manually add or subtract more gain to the end product. All right, that was a lot. And it was probably a little boring, right? Well, let's put it into action. Now, we are going to load this to our core, and first thing we're gonna do is mute our program material. Notice how the detector is listening to the background noise. You can see that from the sensing LED. Now, when we unmute the program material, the detector turns off. Now, let's say that while the announcement is playing, the crowd gets bigger, which we can represent by raising the gain on our background noise. Now, when our program material finishes, you'll notice that the detector will see this change. It's going to see that the ambient noise is now up here and that it's going to be giving a lot more gain to our program material. So when our program material is playing the next time, it's going to be played at a much louder level. Now maybe while it's playing this time, our crowd all but disappears. So this time when our program material ends, it will take three seconds to listen to our ambient noise and then it's slowly going to be applying less and less gain to the next time we play program material. Now, here's something interesting you can see. Right now, our little red dot is always on the line of the graph, but if we change the attack time to, let's say, a full second, then when we raise our crowd noise up there, you'll see how far off the graph it is because it takes a full second for it to adjust to where you want it to be. Same thing with the release time. We raise that up, we change our crowd noise, you can see that it's gonna take a lot longer for that change to take place. All right, why don't we put a pause right here and you can go on to the next part whenever you're ready.